Welcome to Disparate Worlds, where an irresistible force meets an immovable object. I'm Mox, and this is Sakari, and we are comparing and contrasting the worlds of Pantheon Rise of the Fallen and Ashes of Creation. Yes, indeed we are. Hello to you, friends, and welcome to yet another episode of Disparate Worlds. Um, Mox, I, I, I yes. was chatting with um, one of my kiddos the other day. Okay. Um, and she said, hey, are you still a YouTuber? I said, well, yeah, we, we do we do a little bit of YouTube content, you know. She said, oh, so what was your recent video? I said, yeah, we did okay. You know, we, we had, I think, it was when we'd first come back, right? Um, mm -hmm. 700 or thereabout uh, views right. at the time. And you know, for us, it's really good, right? I mean, right. It's up to 1,100 now. Yeah. that's. I mean, we're doing great yeah. on that video, at least, yeah. right? So, hey, you know, we, we had 700 views at the time. She goes, oh, she was completely unimpressed. Um, her, <laughs> her advice was that we need to do more gymnastics. Oh, all right. Well, you know, so, if she wants to come in and no, and no, 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 and whatnot. I had in mind for you to do the gymnastics, and oh, if you are, if do you're you down want me for to break that, a hip, <laughs> I'm, I'm sure we can do some stellar content and get our views you know, up. I, That's probably I'm borderline the... boomer, you know, right? <laughs> like I'm just a few years off of being a boomer. Borderline so, boomer. I think uh, it is. Something. It is borderline. Like I am. Like boomers. Like like ends in like sixty three or something. I was born in seventy. So all right. Yes, I'm borderline boomer, and my cat is destroying my desk. So uh, I hope it doesn't interfere with the. It's recording. all right. Your 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 demons. Your your. I guess you're a summoner now. Your my little uh, house panthers are are yeah. are being mischievous today. All right. So today. Man, we are catching up on on something we we just released an episode on, and then uh, we're actually current. We're not like three weeks uncurrent, which I know, is beautiful. right. So and we're only a day behind the Pantheon art release. So those two things that we're going to be be covering. Yeah, yeah, that Unity engine. I know we we chatted on that, and and it's it, like the day we released the episode, they pivoted, <laughs> changed their their uh, thing wasn't yet again. That, but yes, but maybe you the next know, day. We're, we're, but we're we're you know we're we're there we're we're like not like you know rehashing old news beating dead horses anything like that so right yeah okay all right so, so let's get into it shall we um, yeah all right so it. let's chat about this unity um, engine thing first right. we'll, we'll get that out of the way since that's the shortest piece and um, so they put a new uh, you know press release or a news article out there and said hey you know we would like to uh, we'd like to talk about this mm -hmm. uh, and and make things right so um obviously this is the the, the first thing we want to talk about is i want to start with i am sorry right so this is <laughs> right a, this is a backpedaling of what they had uh, previously and so, also the guy that's releasing this like is isn't like the CEO or on the board of directors. Like he's just like a guy that runs like one of the 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 divisions, right? He's like the. I do not know. I did not look. Well, it, it up, says so. it like right in the. I don't have it up. You need to tell me because I lead. Yeah, he says I lead Unity Create, which includes the Unity Engine and Editor team. So maybe it's a he, like he's division like a division lead. head. Yeah, but Fair he's enough. not the CEO, which who is who should be the one releasing this. Okay. All right, fair enough. I, I suppose that's acceptable. So yeah. we're, we're going to make this very quick. We're not going to belabor this, right? So what they went into was that our, our personal plan will remain free and there will be no runtime fee for the games built on Unity Personal, right? So and they'll be increasing the cap from 100 to 200,000 and will remove the requirement. I found this fascinating to use the made with Unity splash screen. Is that realistic to, to, to remove the requirement to use that if you get in the, the use of the engine for free? I mean, it's their choice. I, I yeah. you know, I don't think they should do that. I think they should be, you know, credit them at least. Anytime right? you launch a game, you, you're given all that information, right. uh, you know, uh, it's that's that seems to be like a silly concession to make like a like a non like a non concession almost okay but you know what it's nice i suppose that's that's very cool but i to me that would be an unnecessary one i would think right I maybe mean, it's like sure. an extra like a shave a second off of your load time then or two <laughs> right. seconds right yeah actually people use those loading screens to to give the game time to load in the background so it's funny right that, you know Okay. Exactly. Now, when it comes to Unity Pro and the Unity Enterprise, um, they are still making these changes. That's still going into effect. But the the, right. the change is that um, really, well, your your games that are currently shipped with you know, or, and that have are using the and the sorry the projects that you're currently working um, using that will not be included, right? So unless, it's, it's, unless, unless yes, unless. Upgrade. 
<laughs> unless you right. upgrade, right? So we right. will make sure that you stay on the terms applicable to the version um, that you are using as long as you keep using that version. Right. So that's the catch, right? So if you yeah. if you upgrade to the next version of Unity, well, then you opt in to using this. Now I think it's a higher price model, right. which makes sense. Now I think that's still a bit of a strong arm, but a fair one, I think. Right? Okay, like you know, you, right. you're welcome. People are going to want to want to upgrade to the latest version of Unity, right? Like you don't want to be kind of captured. So right, that works for me as long as for a reasonable amount of time they are still releasing important updates to the previous versions like mm -hmm. like security updates and things like that uh again within a reasonable amount of time five years down the road you know you're still using you know three versions ago of unity then then it, that might be an issue it, it will become an issue or or if right. the current version of unity ends up having a bug or some kind of a problem with it that a patch right. fixes and you're stuck using that old version that right. you know so i think again it's, within it's... a reasonable window i think that that's okay yeah. like you know uh, you know but but again they need to define that i think up front and say this will be you know this version is good for updates through x number of, yes. of iterations like so we're currently on unity i don't know just making up a number we're currently on unity 3 um you, these terms will work and we will update it until we release unity 6. Mm -hmm. at that point we will no longer support unity 3 and you're using it at your own risk yeah yeah like so that, I, that in the end everybody gets herded five. into the new price plan anyway <laughs> and, and i think right. that's the important piece about this is that it's still coming you, you there's yeah. you if you're going to be using unity and, and honestly if you you're going to be wanting to upgrade to the new versions of it right you will ultimately right. to opt in so you have to make those decisions now get to know this pricing plan that's what's in front right. of you but you've got some time and i suppose that's fair and you also have the time to opt in and, and pivot however right. you need to into something different so fair and enough. you know this is great but they learned nothing from what D, D went through back at the beginning of the year this is exactly the same you know we release a a a terrible pricing model and we're you know we we have to backtrack now the only thing they did better than than the wizards of the coast did was they did it much much quicker like it took wizards of the coast i think mm -hmm. nearly a month yeah. to backtrack so they were getting burned at the stake for for weeks whereas it's been about a week for unity maybe a little more right. like a week and a half um so good on them for recognizing it and 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 realizing the disaster they were in and fixing it quickly mm -hmm. absolutely so um just a couple notes i wrote about this uh their actions were foolish and will affect them going forward mainly because like the trust is is ruined like people will like there will be a percentage of projects that they lose over Fair. this yeah hopefully, you know, it's, who, hopefully for them it's a minimal right it's not very right, much right you, exactly you so yeah. um you know going forward there will be some percentage of people that decide to well let me see what unreal is like and you know let me right. see let me try it and and you could potentially lose that that customer going forward so uh, on them it's going to be difficult to earn that trust back yeah fair enough okay all right is there anything more that you want to say about unity no no i'm Sounds glad they did this uh, you know, so yeah. so this this uh puts a exclamation point on what uh what ben told us uh that it is a non-issue for pantheon right now we will link down below the the um what we just put on screen right if you want to go read that article or it's not an really article it's a press release i suppose go read that yourself by all means go follow up and, and have a look and hit the notes hit, hit the salt mine i would love to to hear yeah. what folks have to say about um, their their changing rapid change as a result of that. So, yep, yeah. Um, hey, speak about ra uh, rapid change. <laughs> let's uh, let's get into the art. So, um, we are showing on screen right now the the poll that we took. Um, with our, with our social friends. reach <laughs> right yeah our, our, our massive social reach of, of thank you to all 16 of you who who gave us your uh your thoughts Input. on this yeah and, and so just to introduce it right it's not anything we can right. really get into and unpack but i it's think it's hardly that, scientific and no yeah no kid we haven't <laughs> we need more data but um right. I, I do think of the 16 people I, I was expecting much more um much more smoke and mirrors right <laughs> at least the, the comments everywhere that i've seen salt was 
ruling the day, right? Nobody thought that this game was going to come out in, in all of the comments. But of the people that responded to this poll, it seems like people are expecting there to be some time before we yeah. get there, of course. Right. But they largely, I think the majority think it's going to it's going to come out. Yeah, so the majority of people are, are between the, the th- more three to five years from now. Um, yeah. You know, it will it will be out. I, I think I voted at 2027, so I'm, I'm yeah. in that that uh, leg there so um you know it's the end of 2023 almost so i you know i just expect it to take a few more years given where they're at now i could be totally wrong because of these changes that we're going to talk about that it might speed things up and and mm-hmm. um you know it, it might they might surprise us well they, they're saying it speeds us the, them up right they've, they've right. apparently been able to put more into the engine over the last month than they have in all of the the time previously, right? Of right. every iteration that they've done previously, moving things into the engine, so it's an accelerated uh, pace, which is which is good. That's that's so. If if they have achieved that objective that they wanted to achieve is to make this faster, then then that's a good thing, right? Right. So so the 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 hand painted style. That's what uh, Joppa is using as a descriptor for this. Um, I I wouldn't say it's my favorite art in the world but mm-hmm. it's also not my my least favorite by far yeah to me that's looks like a, a completely playable game you know yeah i mean so i mean there's stuff there's stuff that is current that has that kind of art style to it all over the place right you know um you know you and i played swotor fairly recently now granted swotor's 2011 was kind of when they came out but it, it was a a not not as not going for realism kind of like the you know but but acceptable enough right i would say yeah. that's more or less in par you know with that so um and i've seen some comments from people that are you know this isn't what they sold me you know five years ago when Mm -hmm. i when i bought into the game it's it's bait and switch and uh, you know there's been a lot of comments to to that effect and and my answer is nothing was promised you 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 bought into unity assets are you aware of that right you're right you know and concept art but this actually looks pretty close to the concept art like it's uh, now one thing that you mentioned in, in you know that we wanted that you wanted to talk about, and I'll bring it up here, is that uh, um, the the way they delivered it was was a little bit lacking. And I also yeah. think that um, there's I've seen a, a fair bit of people saying that um, five minutes was not a long enough uh, video. Mm-hmm. If you're gonna showcase the stuff, showcase it and yeah. and show show some combat, show some more animations, uh, show show more of the art and and things of that nature. So show some varied uh, biomes. Show us uh, show us like what will a ruin look like? What will a scary cave look like? Uh, instead, we we kind of just got to see fields and things like that. And that that maybe it wasn't the best delivery. Yeah. Now there's a lot to say about delivery. Um, let's let's revisit delivery here in a minute because I want to spend okay. a little bit more time if we can right now, touching on the style of it, the way okay. that it looks, right? Things that it compares to, and we'll get to mm-hmm. delivery because there is definitely more to unpack there for sure. But we'll try not to make all of this too long, right? So, um, hand painted. Um, we, we'd used the term cartoony previously. Ah, look, that, it looks gonna looks cartoony, and I don't think that that's actually a fair descriptor. Now having seen the the release that they did, and by the way, we'll we'll link the video that they put out there it's a like mark said five minute video we'll have that in the in the notes below in comments or wherever else go check that out it's worth the five minutes so that you have that but we will be showing it throughout the course of the conversation as well but or pieces right. of that right so um cartoony is not a fair word um hand painted is good right um I, I think i think if you are going to be calling it cartoony you probably need to be um considering uh, movement as well right the movement of characters animations as well i think right. or land away to something being cartoony now off some of the movement that we saw the sprint right was something that that you know showed up to me with a character was kind of hopping as he ran i thought that was a little little bit of cartoony movement but now i'm not criticizing the art so much as the animation and that's right. not really a criticism, just an observation, really, right? And the other thing is the wolf jumping, right? We had the, the wolf jumping. Um, I thought maybe the jump was a little high for a wolf. Right? You know, maybe wolves jump that high, I don't know. But like, um, and, and there was a movement of the spider, you know, like I just, maybe, it, it, maybe uh, what will lend weight, I think, to that cart- the cartoony um, descriptor will be animation as well. So yeah. it's, it's kind of a, you know, both of them together. So. Yeah, and it's definitely not as realistic as previously. But but again, mm-hmm. what this breaks down to is 
sure, what they showed us before was much more realistic. Right. But what they showed us before was equating to a development time that was just ridiculous. At and one of the aspects. Not, they, they, couldn't, they could not sustain it. Yeah. So what, what would the community rather have? Would you rather have realism and have the game come out in 15 years? Or would you... 15 years from now, I'm talking about, by right. the way. Or would you rather have them go to a style that, that, that they can... That will expedite delivery... But maybe not be quite as realistic. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, but and also, there's a lot of things that are missing from from this video. Like there wasn't any um, uh, like sound or ambience or anything that was added into this to uh, to to add to it. Like all of that comes together in the finished product. Right. It's not just. It's not just the the um, the art itself. Like the art is a component. The sound, the music, the 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 you know uh, the like what sound are the critters making? What sound? What is what does combat sound like? All that stuff is going to come into play. Right. And I think as well as when you're trying to get the game off the ground or enough to so that there's a playable version of it, and you want players to be able to get in there and kind of see it and see what your vision is and smell it, you know, and kind of get you know get their toes in the water. You use what you, what you have at your disposal, and they mentioned in their video. That was Unity assets, right? They had right. a lot of Unity assets that were that were there. So you go to the Unity store, you find assets, and you put them in your your thing. And and now you create players that that or, or you create a, an expectation on the part of players. Oh, this is what this game is going to look like. That is not true, right? So at this juncture, <clears throat> they had said, "Hey, we're going to be working on art. This is that's going to be something that we're launched. The, the next effort, the next phases. This is going to be heavily art centered. And now right. they're doing that." And when they get into that, one of the things that they have to do is stop using those Unity assets and create their own assets that they can use. Now, there's been some of that along the way. But but if they hone in on an art style and decide, okay, this is what that's going to look like, and it's not looking like the Unity assets, yes, there are going to be players that are, you know, and, and backers and folks that have that that are heavily in, invested, even if it's just emotionally, in this thing. Right. That have expectations that do not align with the vi- with the vision that they've come up with with the pro- project, even yeah. if that vision has now changed in that it's fine tuned and they found a direction that they want to go that was not what what people were seeing to begin with. Right, right. So, and you know, we look at uh, like you could look at a screenshot from World of Warcraft and know that it's World of Warcraft, mm-hmm. or you know, you look at something from. Uh, from Swotor, and and you know if you played the game, you, you recognize it, and that is right. what we are moving towards here. We're, we're we're moving towards a style that people look at and be like, oh, that's Pantheon. Yeah, you know we we know what that is, as opposed to oh, that's a generic stock image from from Unity. Yeah. So so if you put all this together, this this was inevitable. This was going yeah. to happen. No matter what, they would have had to have come up with their own art style that stops using the Unity assets. That was going right. to happen. That was always going to happen. And they and if along the way they discover that the way that they're doing art is just too intensive and it's taking too many system resources, this right. game is going to perform badly. You don't want them to get all the way to launch and then put this game out there and then and then everybody hates it. Everybody's games are running slow. It's terrible. Nobody wants to play the game and they're too far down the road to have to you know, what would they do then? Right? Like the game right. will crash and that's the end of Pantheon. Better yeah. for this to happen now, right? And better for this inevitable thing to happen early where where at least now we're expecting the right thing. As I think the issue to. there is that, that the people that are complaining about that are saying it's not early, that, that this is way okay. too far well, in to, to make that change. I still think given... it's early. <laughs> oh, I, I agree Very with early. you. I'm just yeah. – I'm, I'm playing devil's advocate here. No, um, that's true. And – or maybe salt miners advocate and um you know letting you know that's that's what they're saying is you know it's been years it's been been you know however long it's it been and maybe so. they expect that this game is a lot further along than it actually is right so that's that would be my counter to that so so it's fair so so the thing is i also don't want to make light of people's dismay in this i think that needs oh, respect I I think, I think people need to have the right expectations. Just have an assault party. Just they throw, throw they did in. not like they bought the the people that that bought in pledged into a game. Uh, when you pledge, you are, you are not promised anything. Yeah, you know you're given this is this is what we plan. 
okay, great. Um, but you know what? COVID There's happened. risk. You There's a what? lot of risk. Yeah. Passed away. Yeah. Things have happened that have changed the, the, the direction of the, the game and uh, to a degree. It's still the game, though. It's still mm. the, the you know, classically based MMO that, that Brad wanted and that Joppa supports and is pushing for. Right. Um, you know, so, you know, you, this is not bait and switch. This is not, uh, you know, we, you know, we're, we're running away with your money. This is, you know, a change, a change, a small change in, in the grand scheme of things. Now, if, if yeah. a few months down the road, they say, oh, well, you know what? Perception's going to be too hard. We're not going to do that. Oh, and, oh, you know, it's really not going to be that explorable. We don't like climbing. We're going to take that out. Like they start backing off of, of, systems. of you know, yeah. a series of, of, yeah. of systems. Then, then yes, I will. Uh, my story will change. Right. Changing the arts is not the same thing. Yeah. Now there's more change coming, right? The music is going to be different. We've spoken to Joppa ourselves on this channel right. about the music and, and he said, you know, it was great to do what I did for it. And that's what got me into the project. And that's great. But at the end of the day, we're going to we're going to hand that to someone else to do. Right. right? Someone else is going to come up with the music. The music we've heard so far are Joppa assets. They're the, right. the you know, the, the things that he's and they'll be in there, apparently. Um, yeah, but, they'll be in there. But it won't all be, you yeah. know, Joppa's compositions. Yeah. So, so there's expect some change on the music, right? This is going right. to happen as they refine this game into something, you know, that is is a vision that they they want to do. Um, you invoked the name of of Brad. Um, I did. Do you want to uh, comment on that? Uh, you know, people have. Uh, there's uh, some quotes going around that Brad is rolling over in his grave. A lot of comments to that effect. Um, uh, Brad Brad would want the game delivered. And if changing the art would make that happen, I believe he would support it and he would yeah. be behind it. Um, you know, there's there's not much you can do at this point. Again, with a non-sustainable yeah. art direction, they had to make the change. So, uh, you know, sure, Brad might have been intractable about it. I doubt it, but he you never know. He might have yeah. been, and, and but it, it would slowly kill the game. Yeah. No, I mean, sometimes you got to make, you got to, there's things that you just have to do. Yeah, and you have to make hard choices. Even like if your vision is is going to result in performance problems, you kind of have to adjust, right? So, you know, and I think we people at that point, then people would be mad at Brad. You know what I'm saying? So to me, to me, the, the whole thought of invoking, oh, well, he's rolling over in his grave right now. I, I think, be careful. Um, yeah. I feel I feel like that's hurtful. Right now, yeah. now by all means, and that's a really bridging the gap, right? From we want to respect people's. I'm using the word dismay, but their discomfort, their disquiet, mm -hmm. right? Like their dissatisfaction with this change. That's fine if that's how you believe. Be, and by all means, express that. I think that's information that they need, and 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 it's going to be helpful to them. That that the community doesn't like the, this new direction. Maybe there's some more thinking we need to do. Right? That's all right. part of this conversation. But don't be hurtful with it. I think is is right. yeah um you know um and I don't think that Chris and and the others sat down one day and said oh let's f with the with the, with everybody we're just going to screw the art up and and yeah. you know so yeah that like they made a play made a decision that's going to sink the project no it, like that's not the case like yeah. he he made a decision that he thinks uh, you know collectively with the new artists collectively with the the whole development team that they felt was the best thing to do to right. improve performance to speed up uh the development and to uh to to put their thumbprint on the game mm -hmm. yeah no they're, they're trying so i i mean look we're gonna get accused of being shills mocks you and me they're gonna oh, people well, are gonna you know on us to get you check to be a shill so <laughs> they can say that all they want but until until my bank account's padded that ain't the case <laughs> yeah it's like, like yeah open my wallet and the moths fly out right like i promise you there's no um so but, but at the same time i think you know and, and i don't want to be unnecessarily positive i would i want to be sober-minded about this and i think that's one of the one of the things where we put out an episode and then the community pushes back a little bit we're not trying to sell this right that's not our angle we're trying to analyze this and, and but also be sober-minded about about everybody's input right the, the community right. input but also what we what we ourselves are seeing but um you know so i mean hey, hey we didn't give that gl uh, glowing a review of, of the unity thing right so i mean yeah. we'll, we'll call it like we see it for sure right um yeah, so let's talk about the messaging because we promised that we would get into that, right? That this was all a matter of uh, of delivery and the way that they that they said this to us. Could they have right. avoided this 
could they have avoided the 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 giant community headache that this turned into be it turned out to be? I don't think so. I okay. think no matter what, there would be a percentage of the of the community that was that would be, you know, um, you know, salty. just hate it. They yeah, would just yeah, be yeah. they would hate it. They'd be salty. They would be detractors. They would you know again invoking the name of Brad and all that stuff. Like no matter what, no matter Games how you deliver, there is a percentage that would be doing that. Yeah. Could they have reduced that? possibly yeah no so i i actually do i i think that there was a way to make this not a disaster i, I still don't think it's quite a disaster it's a pretty it's close though right uh, uh, there is a way to do that um for instance i maybe if if what instead of saying okay hey guys we're starting the art over we're going back and we're revisioning it right like we're like we're going to throw away all of this progress that we've made even though it's mostly unity assets right um we're going to throw that all out and we're going to redesign and and by the way we're going to go way back to where we were they, that that should never have been said don't put that kind of blood in the water right 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 even in this video um let me get an, a quote or two here right um, joppa said we have made some pretty significant changes to our art style don't don't even say them don't even say that right i think that's unhelpful and then one thing that ben said is a painted style is a simplified approach that is sustainable for an independent sized team like and we've been mentioning that right like oh hey mm -hmm. one of the things that we care about is can can this team do that right? right don't put that blood in the water because you don't know in the future you may this may take off and that you may have a sustainable team then right, right. so so don't say any of that what i think the better approach to this would have been was in one of the live streams, show the new the character model and say, "Hey, you know, while we were working on the character models, we needed to to re redo them. We found that these character models you, you just talk about the character model, right? These character models weren't helping with the um uh were, with the performance. They needed to be some adjustment, and we needed a more robust style, a style that was more uniquely us. And so this is the new character model, uh, right? And there'll be some fallout, but it's not the fallout. Oh my goodness, the whole the sky." Is falling in the whole game and then from then on what you do is you say okay so here's a boar right um we we you know this is you know the the boar and here it is in the in the engine right this is right. The, and then here's a snake and here's a spider and you you show all of the different um things but you you are then consistent with that art style but you just show them you show them as you go as opposed yeah. to talking about okay guess what we're revising our entire <laughs> art strategy well yeah i think you're gonna i think that would have been easier to to stomach and people would have been able to follow along better than to say to folks, okay, we're going to do this. And then wherever it, 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 people's imaginations take them is where they go. I right. think, imagine there's a lot where people are speaking where they don't have that insider information that visionary realms does. They know what's going on on the inside. They know what that art looks like, right? They're seeing the content and they're sharing some of it with us. But for many of us, it's it's largely our imaginations. We have no idea right. what we're talking about, essentially. So I I can let you know this much: they were very aware that how this was going to be received to a degree. Hmm. Um, they they had the content creators in a in a chat, uh, you know, before the release of this and showed the the stuff to us. Right. And one of the big things everybody said was. This is going to not be received well by by a segment of the population of the community. Yeah. And they were like, we know. And, you know, we're we but we need to do it. Yeah. Like, so it's Rip the bandaid off kind of a thing. Let's yeah, get, let's it, just release it to, to everybody as soon as we can and let and, and get on with our lives. Okay. Right. So so they were expecting it. Uh, I'm I'm sure hopefully the, like, you know, the reactions that they got were better than what they expected. And that that's all I can hope right okay so is there anything more uh, you want to say to this yeah when you find yourself in a hole stop digging and paint yourself a ladder <laughs> right <laughs> <laughs> we debated our title a little bit beforehand right because i yeah. when you find yourself in a hole stop digging is kind of like a, a well-known i thought that was that was funny yep. right but paint a ladder right like, yeah. exactly just like you said wily e. coyote paints a, a hole in the <laughs> right. wall for the and then he gets run over yeah. so that's a, hopefully that doesn't happen all right, guys, don't forget to check out our link tree in the description below. It has all of our social stuffs in there, and I think that's going to wrap us up. I think so, too. How easy is that? I just love how easy to say link tree. Yeah. Go, go check that out. And as always, we are very thankful to our viewers. Thank you for tuning in like you do. I know we've been kind of hitting you with the content lately. You guys asked for it. You got what you wanted. It's your fault.
Yep. Um, so there you go. Um, so it, do us a favor. It would, would help us as always with this episode and with our channel and, and the journey we're trying to make here. Uh, if you would like it, subscribe, recommend us to a friend would be great. Share however you can. That would be great. And that notification bell, don't forget that either because that way uh, you will not miss upcoming content because it's yep. coming. And the salt mine. Don't forget. Go find some yes. salt and, and, <laughs> right. and tell us exactly how yeah. wrong we are no, about yep. all of this stuff. Absolutely, yeah. We definitely love to hear from you. So, and and do the Discord as well, right? Find it through that link yep. tree. We made sure it was in there. Join us in our community. We'd love to hear what you what you think. So, all right, that is it for us this episode. Um, I'll just say, take care of yourselves. Uh, remember always to be immovable in your principles and irresistible in your passion.